Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. We have finished all of our plate research. Now we have the wood that Kagita wants, and let's find out what's happening next. Three logs will do. Have you gathered the three logs I requested? Lost one. Here you go. Oh, yes, this certainly ought to do. Now the moment comes at last. The big reveal. What, pray tell, is the secret behind this wood? Secret? Your expectations need tempering, I fear. This wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. Cutting boards? You mean for cooking? The plates we're after aren't dinner plates, so this is hardly the time for cooking. How you complain for one shirking his own work this very moment? Poor Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild must have his hands full with you. <laughs> but honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, cat. A reward for the wood you've brought me. She has the last plate. <laughs> Volo's losing his absolute mind. Ahem, apologies. That's indeed one of the plates that we've been searching for. What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. Hmm, this does look like one of the plates you've been tracking down. While the engravings upon it made it less than accommodating as a cutting board. Whatever ingredients crossed it certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power. The plate's power, rather. Well, no more need saying. What do you two intend to do now? Well, we've managed to collect quite a lot of plates by now, but I still don't know what we're to do with them exactly. It's just a hunch. Perhaps we should have a look around the Celestica ruins. Those ruins contain statues of both Dialga and Palkia. They might hold more secrets. I see. A fine pretext to continue shirking your mercantile duties to crawl about in old ruins as you so enjoy. On with you, then. I don't need you to tell me I'm going. The Celestica ruins, cat. I'll see you there. Go on now, to the Celestica Ruins. I'm curious myself what you'll find there. What can we who live now learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? On we go. Pardon me, just passing through. Got stuff to do here. Have a look at this cat. This statue has been kept here far from the statues of Dialga and Palkia. Broken and shattered, and yet it remains. Do you know what it is? I think so. Don't tell me it's Girotina. Of course you would. You're the greatest wielder of Pokemon this land knows. The one who could bring low even Dialga and Palkia. The crumbling statue once was the figure of a Pokemon. One that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from our world. The great Pokemon Giratina. Mm -hmm. It's a ghost type. I know Giratina. It was banished for its violence left to dwell in a world on the reverse side of our own. It is a being that has lain in wait for the chance to bear its fangs in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Now tell me, if this Giratina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus, where do you think it might appear? Temple of Sinnoh. Exactly. Where one is closer to the heavens than any other place in Hisui. 
and where the space-time rift first opened. Oh boy. I can feel it. We are getting closer to uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say the excitement is loosen loosening my lips more than it should, but... You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking, I couldn't help but wonder why life was so unfair, why I was cursed to live through such things. Of course, I imagine we all go through something like that. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. And what tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything were the mysteries to be found in legends, in history, in ruins. You see, I fancied that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be. And with that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. Oh, no. Now, if we can find the realm that exists on the reverse side of our world, and meet the creator's unwanted child banished therein, perhaps then we'll be able to understand the nature of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Don't you want to see it with your own eyes? We must make for the Temple of Sinnoh at Mount Kornut's peak. Yalga and Palkia both appeared from within the rift that once gaped open there, didn't they? If these plates can call anything at all, it seems likely that is where it would appear. Okay, he's been drinking some crazy juice, I think. Oh, something's targeting me. Here we go again. This music. The way he's standing there. Ah, uh, is this the real big bad? Are you... It was Volo all along. The temple lies in ruins now. Columns cracked and broken, like pillars now turned into spears, stabbing into the heavens. Well, I detect a distinct lack of Giratina. Hmm, is something bothering you? Yeah, you. Uh, I do beg your pardon. I suppose I must seem to be behaving strangely. See, yeah, since the beginning. I dare say you deserve to know what I'm really after by now. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there has been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was in an attempt to answer this question that I originally sought out Giratina and had it tear open that rift in space-time? It was you! After all, Giratina wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. So then I had you gather the fragments of the all-encompassing all deity, just as the murals of the ruins directed. Eighteen plates said to be fragments of the all-encompassing deity. You hold in your hands seventeen of them, so you must be wondering, where's the last one? He has it? Yeah. Yep. We got a real big bad. With a, uh, fancy costume. <laughs> Look at that Arceus-style haircut. Now hand over the plates you gathered. I will be the one to bring them all together. My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is. I must know what it is. He's a zealot, man. He's like such a fan of Arceus that he wants to just destroy Arceus. If I can meet Arceus myself, then I may also be able to subjugate its power. And using that, I will attempt to create a new, better world. Of course, if I create a brand new world, then this Hisui region that we currently exist in will be undone and returned to nothing. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokemon living here will vanish in an instant, as if you'd never been. 
If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle. Well, that's kind of abrupt. Not that you have a choice. Even if you don't wish to battle me, I'm not above using force to take those plates from you. Oh, he's got a full team. Who did he have? Oh, we got a ghost Pokemon right off the bat. Oh, Luxray, good. I've got Dark. Uh, okay. That's still... It's only half health. Good, good. That didn't do... too much. Boom. One down. Who you got? Garchomp. I don't know what he is. Well. Okay, so fairy definitely does it. So does ice. And dragon. Let's roar a trimum. Boom. Okay, we got a fighting type. Against Steel and Dragon. Oh, Lucario, Lucario is fast. Oh, wow, this is super effective. Take that. Full restore. That doesn't change the order. We're going for it. Take him down. Oh, so close. Oh. Close combat was super effective. All right, Typhlosion. We just have to take him out a little bit. Done. Arcanine, he's stoned too. That's just bad for me. But this... Man, I should have mastered this move. It does give me health back. I don't know if I'm going to survive another round, though. Nope. Come on, Psyduck. Let's go regular. Awesome. Roserade. Oh, now we're in a bad... Spikes. Psyduck does have... Ice. Yes. Oh, and... beam. Get a side duck. Okay, okay. We're not doing too bad. Who do you have left? I thought he had a Togepi, didn't he? Yeah, Togekiss. Here we go. 
Yes. Do it up. Oh, that was supposed to be a grand move. There we go. Suck it, Volo. It's over, Frieza. Why? Why you? Why do you have the blessing of Arceus? Because I was literally ripped out of my last world by Arceus and sent here to undo your shenanigans? Why? How? I've devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshipped it as the creator of our entire world. I bent all of my passion and interest into its study. All this time I've spent poring over the legends, everything that I've done. You outsider, it's almost as if you were spat out of space-time rift just to get in my way. I think so, actually, yes. No, no, this isn't finished yet. Ooh, the chill creeping through your veins. The eldritch presence icing your heart. <gasps> Ooh. He's got one more up his sleeve, doesn't he? Oh, I love it. Giratina, strike her down. So he's always been able to summon Giratina. Okay, I have two Pokemon left. Cresselia is who they're sending out first. Level 70. I think we need to start throwing some uh, max restores out. I don't know how badly. Max restores. So he is ghost type. Who has ghost moves? Hold on. Ninetales is still up. Nope, can I have Ninetales back? Nope, okay, it's not Ninetales. Luxray has Dark. That'll help us against, well, Ghost. And check summary. No, I think he was just Ice. All right, let's get Luxray up. Let's get... Uh... Typhlosion's gonna be... Um, against his ghost moves is gonna be a bad go. I really hate to say we're gonna get Psyduck up, but let's do it. Tanky tank! Here we go, goodbye Cresselia! You did well, Cresselia. You did well. Okay. We're gonna Thunder Wave him first. Oh, look at him. He's almost as big as he is. Get paralyzed, son. Ha! Oh good, I have double moves coming up, so we're gonna crunch him. Okay. Still didn't do a, a lot, a lot. Now I have double moves. I was gonna give Giratina two goes, but let's do it. Oh my. All right, Vulpix. Vulpix, nine tails. Oh, everything I have is not very effective. Except for Iron Tail. 
Avoided the attack. That's bull. Are you serious? You just need to hit him once. You literally just need to hit him once. Is it going to come down to you, Psyduck? What do I have left? <gasps> he was cured of paralysis. All I have left. Okay. Sorry, but we are going to get Luxray back up. Oh, my poor little derpy Psyduck. I'm just going to fire at him. Just do it. Zen headbutt. <laughs> awesome. My derpy, shiny Psyduck. Are you kidding me? Wow, okay. He's still 70. I want to keep him up. But... Let's max rev. Earth power. Oh wow, one hit. Oh, this is going to be bad. I need Lux right up. Nine tails, please last two rounds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll get up. Psyduck. Let's just get Psyduck up. None of this is very effective. Sorry, you're just gonna be a tank. You're just gonna be a tank. I'm gonna save that max revive. With Dialga up. Here we go. Thank you, Nine Tails. Thank you. You did great. Are you kidding? Oh no. Oh no. Gonna go one big hit here. Cause Luxray's not gonna last another round. Wow, that's it? No longer obscured. Ah, you jerk. Um, let's do... They both have super effective moves. Let's do Dialga first. Let's do Roar. Ancient Roar. Roar of Time. Oh, there it is. I'm glad I got Dialga up. You finally beat Giratina. He was tough. Turning tail and running from this puny human? Pathetic. 
I was the one to feed you the power you needed so that you could take on Arceus. I was the one who gave you the chance to claw open that space-time rift, driving the deity of space and the deity of time mad so that you could drag the creator out from hiding. How? How could this happen? Almighty Arceus, if you have any heart within you, then tell me. The blood of the ancient Sinnoh people flows in my veins, does it not? What is it, then, that you find so lacking in me? You're a nutcase. Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? Correct. I can't live with such questions. I cannot... I can't bear not satisfying this ache to know. Answer me, cat. Do you have some dream that propels you as I've had? <laughs> sure, I do. So you do. Doubtless that dream of yours would never leave room for the dreams of one like me. I am the great wielder of Pokemon, and you, you battle alongside your Pokemon. In the end, I was alone, but not you. You will fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dreams you have. Here, take it. Take the plate that started me on this path. The plate I once received from Giratina. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost to you. Ah, he's like really admitting defeat. A spooky plate. I suppose now you've gathered all the plates said to exist in this land of Hisui. The Celestica flute transformed into the Azure flute? So that's... that's it. The Azure flute. Huh. It comes to you. So Arceus wishes to meet you. Of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? Gah, I have no desire to watch from the sidelines as Arceus comes to you. And I absolutely cannot accept a world in which you would ever manage to defeat Arceus. Someday, I'll solve every riddle in the legends of Hisui's Pokemon. And on that day, I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it. No matter how many years, how many decades, how many centuries it takes me. What a weirdo. Okay, so now we have to seek out all the Pokemon there is. I assume that means we have to catch one of every one of them. Ooh, okay. Let's get off this mountain and get these Pokemon healed up. And that's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.